Hey everybody, it's Rob again. Got another boat to show you today. Uh, it's the Dumas Dauntless. It's 49 inches long. It's a complete wood kit. I didn't build this boat, but I acquired it from a friend of mine. And he never finished the boat as far as making it uh, operational. So I picked up two 12 volt motors, which I'll show you here shortly. And we got two speed controls. We got uh, twin screw here, basically means twin rudders, twin props, twin shafts, and two independent complete systems on the model. So we've got a four channel radio, which I'll show you here momentarily. And I have independent control of each motor so I can make both motors go forward, both go reverse, or one forward, one reverse to make the boat turn in its own length. Again, wooden kit, spray painted with just uh, Krylon and Rust-Oleum type spray paints. Uh, some of it was brush painted on top here. Uh, you can see a little bit of the dash work inside there. He put the helm together. Uh, again, I didn't build this model, but it was built by a friend. And uh, funny story, I was just telling my cameraman here that uh, I always wanted to build this boat. And when I was 16 years old, I went into a hobby shop to build it and to buy it and then eventually build the boat. And the yeah, st <clears throat> store owner talked me out of it because he said it was way too much work. So. Long story short, 30 something years later, now I have the boat. So, uh, but what I'm actually doing with it is making it into a, a retrieval boat as well as a, a boat just to have some fun with. So uh, I've got some gas boats that sometimes get stuck in the water. So I'm gonna make a push system that's gonna just attach to the front here. And I'll show you that on a future video uh, that I'll be able to push models in that get stuck in the water. But let me uh, show you inside the boat real quick here. Now that you've kind of seen the exterior of the boat, this part of the cabin, you can see it's all wood, lifts right off. And then the stern portion here lifts right off. And the nice thing about this model, you do have complete access to the boat. You can get to everything so easily, easy boat to work on, easy boat to build as far as uh, accessibility goes. But you can see I've got two 12 volt motors here these were supplied by loyal hannah dockyard and i've got two 40 amp speed controls and those are vipers uh, nice waterproof speed controls they can get wet nothing's going to happen to them right now i've got the receiver wrapped up in here just to protect it but i'm going to probably eventually just mount it to the side you can see there's one servo that's linked to the two rudders and the stern of the boat i did have to add battery supports in here there's two here and two here and the model is going to be powered with two 12 volt batteries these are 12 volt six amp batteries and they're just going to sit right in here and they're nice snug tight fit here so that'll be good and this should give it enough uh ballast to uh run the boat uh pretty level i haven't tested it yet but we're going to do a quick test today and here comes a nice boat in the background. I'll let my cameraman grab that because I love boats like that. It's a nice long range cruiser right there. That is nice. Tranquility. Beautiful boat. Look at that. If I wasn't playing with small models, I'd be playing with real yachts, but uh, the wallet doesn't have enough money for one of those yet. But anyway, back to the model here. So I'm gonna set this in here like that. We're going to do is power it up real quick just do a quick test here so you can see how it works so i've got a dx6e radio just power that on with the power button and it's pretty simple connections so all we're going to do here is connect the red to the positive and i ran out of black wire so we've got blue wire here for the negative Connect that one up and then come over here to this motor. Same thing, red to the positive, black to the negative. And then there's a simple on off switch for each speed control. So we turn that on, turn that on. And if all goes well, it should work. Let's always test the rudder. I always test everything before I put it in the water. So you can see the rudders 
are working. I always look in the back, make sure when I go to the right, the boat goes to the right and go to the left. And then we're gonna check the, uh, the motors. There we go, launch, starboard, and port motors, all turning. Forward and initial and reverse. So she's ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're gonna do another video here momentarily of it in the water for its maiden voyage. Again, this boat was built and never completed and never put in the water. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be uh, putting it in the water here momentarily. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and learned something. Thanks.